Just installed it in the battery cabinet and it's currently charging. This is a Humziank 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour server rack battery. In the box, you get the user manual, grounding wire, communication cable, side bracket that go on the front of the battery. The handles can also be attached to that bracket. The battery terminal covers, the handle that can be attached to the side bracket, the fastener for the battery terminal and the side bracket, battery wires. The foam padding in the box is around an inch and a quarter, keeping the battery protected during transportation. There are also extra corner cardboard that increase the protection of the battery. This is one of the bowls for the battery terminal. And this is the battery terminal cover. The battery have a DC breaker, followed by an on and off switch, a reset button, tip switch, main contact, OS485, CAN, OS232, followed by two extra OS485. Let's flip the DC switch breaker up, then press the power button. And it seems like it's working as it should be. Now I'm gonna turn it off to give you an inside look of the battery. I'm really glad this manufacturer is using boss bar inside of the battery. A lot of other manufacturers usually use battery wire. This is a step above. And all the boss bar are protected with heat shrink tubing. They are using the own BMS custom made. There's a temperature sensor at the positive terminal and another one at the negative terminal. Here's a look of all the components that's facing the front of the battery. They package this really well. Here's a look at the battery cells. This is the only thing I don't like about this battery, the fact that they are welded. I wish they were bolted because I could easily swap out one if one of those cells go bad but this will be a lot harder to do because they are welded. I've been using several rack battery for a couple years now. I never had any issue with any of the cell. I think this battery gonna be the same thing. I look up those battery QR code and they are made by BYD, a car manufacturer. There's another temperature sensor closer to the back. The final one is closer to the middle. I like how they insulate and manage the BMS wire so well. Look how neat it looks. And the same thing applied on the other side, taking it back all the way to the BMS. Overall, I am really happy with the quality of this battery. If I was starting my solar project today, I would definitely get all my battery from the Helmsy Inc. because I pay a lot more when I bought my other ones. I hope this video was informative. If you are planning to purchase this battery, you can use my link to get 5% off. If you like this video, you might enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video.